devotions uh, are a nice way to mark uh, our journey through time. Uh, so especially coming out of a uh, long holiday weekend, today is Tuesday, July 6th. It's a blessing to gather together, and I know you're most excited for a tooth update. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> when did you lose your tooth, Addison? Uh, when we were about... 30 minutes from home? Yep, we were about 15 minutes from home yesterday in the car. And what happened? My, I was wiggling my tooth and it popped out. It popped out, yay! And then the tooth fairy gave me a dollar. Oh my goodness. The tooth fairy came last night and everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Mwah. Wow, first loose tooth. How was it? Good. Good, all right. <laughs> One down. 20 some maybe to go. I don't know how many <laughs> baby teeth we have. <laughs> All right, Addie. Well, let's, uh, as we gather, spend some time here in devotion. James, the book of James, near the end of our scriptures, uh, this library of books of the Bible. Uh, James chapter 5, verse 7 is where we're invited to, to spend some time uh, beginning today. So I'll invite you to read along if you have it there or listen in devotion. Be patient, therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also must be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Beloved, do not grumble against one another so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who showed endurance. You have heard of the endurance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Above all, my beloved, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. Word of God, word of life for this Tuesday as we continue together in patience and endurance is the title of our in, uh, devotion from Christ in our home. If you'd like to continue reading here together and sharing this time dwelling in God's word and invites our focus to that first seventh verse that we read together. Be patient, therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. In my part of the world, spring tends to take a long time coming. Long after Christmas and bright, fresh snowfalls, the sky and land are often still a dingy gray. I believe the author of this um, bit is from Ohio. Multiple days can pass without sun. My eyes ache for green sprouts and a break in the clouds. In today's reading, James speaks of patience. I certainly need patience on late winter days. Later, the author also speaks of endurance. As a marathon runner, I appreciate James's encouragement to look to the example of others, the prophets of old, like runners who have crossed the finish line and serve as assurance that I can too. As we face personal struggles, as we cry out for justice throughout society, where presently we so often grumble against one another, and as we long for God's healing presence, we are called to patience and endurance. James assures us we can be strong, for the Lord is compassionate and merciful, and his coming is near. Like spring, it will come. I invite you to pray with me this morning. Faithful Lord Jesus, remind us that you are alongside us, even as we await your coming. Amen. And as this day unfolds before you, be invited to pray for those waiting and working for justice. Um, God bless you, beloved, today. As one of my um, uh, possibility models uh, taught me early in my uh, professional ministry career, uh, persevere. Um, I have to share with you the, the news, um, unfortunately, of the death of Harry Owens. Uh, Harry died peacefully 
yesterday morning. Uh, so continued prayers for BJ and for our community of faith as we mourn Harry's death. You, you, you know, well, we've been praying for him in hospice the last couple weeks here. Um, and so we, uh, we grieve his death. Uh, as we continue in perseverance, in uh, patience, uh, in endurance, in hope of uh, the peace and healing of God uh, to come uh, and to be our fulfilled reality along the way. Uh, reminder to Judy Will and to all, we worship at 9.30 on Sunday, one time, uh, with the annual meeting there to follow. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue to share in and share together. God's word.